Well, with us now is the Director General of the BBC, Mark Thompson. Um, how much money was wasted on these services you're now going to shut down? All of these services have worked for audiences, um, uh, for television audiences, radio audiences and audiences on, on the web. He's got a nervous blink. That's a mega blink. It's not just a blink. He looks like what happens when you punch a cow. So, in the case of a music station like uh, Six, it's numbers really, isn't it? Well, I think it's also something else. That with Six Music, it's, it's a relatively small audience. It's quite yeah. an expensive service to run. Well, so we of could, course, it's one could. extra. We, and we, we, as we know, their own DJs say there's no one listening. Oh, my oh God. God. This is like watching a lion rape a sheep but in a bad way. We well, could, of course, try and build its audience. But with Radio 1 and Radio 2, we already have two large-scale national sure. popular music radio stations. And we believe, particularly by making Radio 2 a bit more distinct in what it's done, that we can use those two platforms to give a really rich and broad expression to popular music in this country. So when a Radio 1 Extra disc jockey, Tim Westwood, said on the 9th of February, I've been broadcasting to absolutely nobody for the last three hours, is that an argument that well, it, it might have been has a, a convincing audience? It might have been a joke, Jeremy. <laughs> I don't think so. Pull it, puncture his life belt. Pull it, give him a signal. And if he shits, I'll give you 500 quid. No, one extra. Humorously expressed. I, 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 I think it was humorously expressed. It's like a chicken. It's like an enormous chicken. I believe that one extra is in its niche and to its audience doing okay. a good job. Well, the point is, Aaron, what we do is we look at each of these services one by sure. one. We, we you, talk to the people who are listening BBC to them. BBC Three, for example, on the grounds that it's a testing ground, which costs what, £115 million pounds a year. But I, I believe that BBC Three and the quality of the programmes were now... It's very expensive testing well, ground, isn't I, it? I believe that what we're, we're seeing there is... is New British comedy, drama, documentaries, right. which you would not see anywhere else on British yeah. television. There's one word he's been saying, which is basically... <laughs> well, BBC Four um, is a place where now... I mean, once we only had a handful of, of, mm. of proms concerts on television, now we reach, before the last night, we reach 10 million people, 12 million people with the proms. Do you know what they're broadcasting tonight? I don't, I can think I'll tell you, it starts with the news, then there is a repeat of a documentary, then there is Skippy, Australia's first superstar, a repeat no less, then there's Paws, Claws and Videotape, clip show about famous animals, then there's a bought-in film, then there's Skippy, Australia's first superstar again, Paws, Claws and Videotape repeated, Storyville, a repeated documentary, and then Paws, Claws and Videotape again, but with subtitles. <laughs> the cameramen are laughing. BBC Four, we, if people who've watched this programme will have seen a trailer going out just in front of it for a brilliant Simon Russell Beale but series about church music. Evening's well, output. we want to try and make sure that Radio Four, which, uh, but BBC Four, which has been a real, it's been really extended range in, in television, that that service is able to go on commissioning really original programme in areas like science one, and the arts. Okay, one final point. This is a complete about-face as far as what you've been doing in your time as Director General so far. That was the worst thing I have ever seen, and I was in Nam. It was fucking funny though, wasn't it?